the Nintendo Switch Pro, bro. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All right. going on everybody how are y'all doing we have some epic 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 news all wrapped up in one action pack video action pack my daughter loves action pack my two-year-old daughter all right give the video a thumbs up <laughs> let y'all know about that action pack on netflix all right we have dope 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 nintendo switch news let's get right to it the nintendo switch pro or nintendo switch 2 it's coming sooner than you think when i say sooner i mean spring 2023 anytime nintendo can make an announcement they're ready to go this isn't even a leak uh, uh, a rumor. This is facts. Nintendo's recent financial report. It included a spending of nearly 500 million on raw material supplies in 2022. 500 million dollars Nintendo is spending on raw materials in 2022. This is why the Switch 2 is coming. To put it in perspective, in 2021 and 2020 combined, those two years combined, Nintendo spent only 92 million and oh, 92 million in one year and 70 million in the next year, respectively. In 2019, when the company introduced the Nintendo Switch Lite, um, they spent 240 million and so when they were um um when they released a new console 240 million was spent on raw materials for the switch Lite. the fact that this year they're spending over 500 million that's about to go down <laughs> there's no other way to put it it's about to go down my money it's perfect that she's playing that breath of the wild too my money or maybe that was breath of the wild breath of the wild too take my word for it i don't take my word for it but this this is a strong possibility <laughs> the switch 2 will be launching alongside breath of the wild 2. they're delaying it Nintendo is calculated with this. They know what happened when the Switch and Breath of the Wild launched. And so to have your more powerful console launch with a killer app, it's a done deal. It's going to take off. And tie that into Digital Foundry. Them um, spotting out that, hey, this Breath of the Wild 2 is running on better hardware. Because the frame rate, just the fidelity of the game, just looks spectacular. And they were doubting that this is running on the current Switch model. Now, for those of you who have a Switch OLED or a regular Switch. But I got so many Switches, man. <laughs> Don't worry. Nintendo's not going to leave you behind. This is what Nintendo's going to do. If you want to upgrade, get that more powerful Switch. Have your games running, looking better. Maybe have some exclusive third-party games on that system. Fine. If you want to still play Breath of the Wild 2 on your current Switch, Nintendo's still going to be fine and allow that to happen. Twilight Princess. You were able to play it on the GameCube and the Wii. Cross-generation. Um, there are a couple other Zelda games that did the same thing. Breath of the Wild. What am I talking about? The first Breath of the Wild. It actually came out on the Wii U. 
Y'all remember the Wii U? I remember the Wii U. I like my Wii U. Only real ones played on that Wii U. On the Wii U, Breath of the Wild came out on the Wii U and the Switch. And so it makes sense Nintendo's going to follow that trend. Um, the Breath of the Wild 2 will be on the current gen Nintendo console and Nintendo's next gen console, whatever that is. Um, so, 500, over 500 million spent on raw material and supplies this year on the Switch. That means that it's a new console. They're cranking up for a new console. It's launching in 2023. It's happening now in 2023. Take my word for it. All right. Speaking of new consoles, how about new games to go along with your new console? Check this out. One of the best 2D platformers ever. My top two. And I can't say just my top two because there's a couple up there. You got Super Mario World is in the top five. Or Yoshi's Island on the Super Nintendo, that's in the top five. Another game in my top five, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. Why am I saying this? A new Donkey Kong game is coming. This is coming from Twitter user K Rule Country. And he spotted that. And this is what he says Nintendo has updated the trademark for Donkey Kong. Rather than being a routine extension of an existing trademark, this is a new trademark with updated verbiage pertaining specifically to video games, including downloadable programs for portable and electronic consoles. For, so, a new patent has been filed for an all new Donkey Kong game. This isn't a leak. This isn't a rumor. This is facts. You can look this up. So a new Donkey Kong game is coming. It's just a matter of Nintendo officially announcing it, announcing it, giving us the details, bro. 2D Donkey Kong games are so good, man. Starting from the, all the way from the on the on the Switch Online, you have Donkey Kong One, Two, and I think Three is on the Super Nintendo on the Switch Online. Those were good. A little dated with the graphics because they're older Super Nintendo games, but. Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze on the Switch. 2D platforming perfection. So, those boss battles are tricky, but it's the, the game is still lit. So, a new Donkey Kong game has been patented. It's happening. It's happening, ladies and gentlemen. And to round out the epic news in this video, we still got some more news items. It looks like we have the file sizes for both. Uh, Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope and Nier Automata, both games announced coming to the Switch. Nier Automata is coming in. Wait, first let's do um, Mario Rabbit Sparks of Hope. It's coming in at 7.1 gigabytes of space. Nintendo knows how to optimize their storage. Um, and so 7.1 gigabytes, which is decent. Considering my Switch OLED 64 gigabytes, and your boy has a one terabyte SD card in the back. Since I, I I bought this one terabyte SD card, one and done. I don't need any more memory for my Switch. I'm gonna transfer this over to whatever the next Switch is. I'm good to go, bro. So that was a great investment I made a couple years ago. All right, 7.1 gigabytes for Mario Rabbit's Sparks of Hope and for Nier Automata. The game comes in at 10.9 gigabytes, almost 11 gigabytes for this game, which is dope, which is dope, which is dope. But that's not it with Nier. We also have the resolution and frame rate. This has been confirmed by Square Enix themselves. Square Enix on their official Twitter account. Their Japan, uh, the Nier, actually the Nier Japan account has tweeted out the resolution for Nier Automata uh, and the frame rate is 1080p, 30 frames per second in dock mode, which is pretty good. It's going to be dope. It's going to be dope. 1080p is good. Um, in handheld, 720p, uh, 30 frames per second in handheld mode. 
Uh, some folks are noting uh, that screen site say there's 60 frame rate, but I figure it seems to be copied and pasted from the Yahara specs. Okay, yeah, so it's 30 frames. The Switch version will be targeting 30 frames. If it's a lot 30 frames, that'll be cool and we'll be good to go. So those are the news items for this video. Man, so hyped, so hyped for my Switch. New Switch coming. Even if the new Switch doesn't come, this is where I'm at right now. As long as Nintendo keeps giving us quality content, I'm good. Nintendo know when to launch their next console. Um, <laughs> the Switch is killing everybody in sales, so Nintendo has little incentive to do it. But it would be dope if they keep the momentum going and just launch a more powerful Switch. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about um, everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. I want to know, but before you go, bro click that subscribe button stay up to date all things nintendo we're out for you this channel that i'm about to throw out there for you guys reminds me of me back when i had like 4,000, 5,000 subscribers man and um he's probably gonna lose shit when i do this but hey man i gotta say my boy ob1 my boy ob1 man that nigga is my nigga right there he reminds me exactly of me when i was doing this shit smaller level his channel when i look at it it's such a nostalgia trip and he has a really cool audience too man if you could show this nigga some love too that'd be awesome i don't shout people out unless i like them a lot a lot i'm picky with that um anyways my boy obi-1 your boy obi-1 hey man i got you right here my boy give that man a little bit of a look man he reminds me of me when i was smaller you want to take a look in the past my boy this is the way you do it i got you jedi homie. master the right jedi here. master <laughs> i got you man you're playing two towns i got Obi -Wan, you man, homie dedicating a workout set to you, my boy let's go guys. 26, 27, 28. Ah, he said, "Hey, no, Dad."